everybody welcome back to my channel I was trying to think of a new way to greet people because I know that everybody says welcome back to my channel and I I think that sounds so trite <laughs> but, I, but I guess it's true welcome back to my channel um I wanted to do a coloring book video for you guys today uh, it's been a long time since I've done any coloring book videos and I I have been coloring I just am not been uh, sharing and I haven't been coloring as much as I I normally do um, but I thought I would show you kind of like what I tentatively would like to do in 2024 with my coloring and I realized that we're already almost to February but um, I have some coloring goals if you will that I would like to meet and um, maybe I won't hit any of them maybe I'll only hit some of them um, I don't know I just thought it would be fun to try to uh, you know, set some plans in motion for 2024 as far as my coloring goes. Um, so as always, I got my dogs, my cats, my husband, and my mama here. So you might hear um, any kind of noises or whatever, uh, just letting you guys know ahead of time. But I thought I would start off with books that I have in my collection that I really would like to color in this year at some point. Um, not you know, just if I, I'd be happy to get one page done or two pages done, but just to touch these books, they're much loved books and all need to be colored in that I'm going to show you. And then at the end, I'm going to show you some um, works in progress, some website I have that I'd like to finish. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess that's all. And if possible, I'll link the books below if you um uh, are interested in looking at them further, they'll be in my Amazon affiliate link. Uh, but yeah, if they're available on Amazon, I will link them below. So, and they're not in any particular order, just so you know. But, um, the first one I have is this Harry Potter Magical Artifacts coloring book. This is a scholastic book and I hope the lighting is good. I, um, I got some new lighting and I'm still playing around with it. It's very gloomy today, but this is like, it has all the completed uh, works, what they look like with the original artwork in the back. And the reason why I was interested in this book was because my friend Sonia from Sonia's Mixed Media, she has been doing a lot of painting. So I think she might've changed the name of her channel. I'm not positive, but I'll link it in the description section below. Um, she colored in this book a lot and she did some absolutely beautiful colorings in this book and they were so vibrant and so fun. So um, I would like to tackle a page or two in this book at some point. It's just such a fun book and it uses, you can use a lot of bright colors and different things and I particularly like this Dark Arts Defense book um, art page. Uh, so I, yeah, I'd, I'd really like to, uh, try that. Oops, didn't mean to hit the camera. So there's that. And then another book that I would like to do at least a page in would be The Ink House by Rory Dobner. Um, a friend of mine, she gave me this book, my, uh, Melanie, she is a subscriber, uh, and an Avon customer of mine. And, um, this was on my Amazon wish list, and she gave this to me. And I would really like to do some pages in this book. It's such a cute book. And I think it's an easy color because of the cross hatching and the shading and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it's really, really cute, and I would like to work in that also. The next one I have is a Deborah Muller book. Uh, this one is Bloom Flower Girl Portraits. Um, and this one's been out for quite a few years, but it's such a pretty spring book. Um, never touched it, but it's gorgeous. The portraits are beautiful. And um, I don't know, I really like that one. Just lots of fun ones in here. That I would like to give some attention to. I've had this book for quite a while. I have some printed off in a PDF form too. So either the PDF or the book, but I really would prefer to work in the book. I, it's my preferred way to colors in the book, but I would like to do something out of Bloom, Flower Girl Portraits by Deborah Muller. And the next one is another Deborah Muller. And this one is Crowned Fantasy Queens. And this is another portrait book. And um, it just has some really pretty portraits. 
like lots of hair, some actually some light, light, very light gray scaling, um, some jewelry, like hair accessories. It's just a really pretty, love this one so much. Just some really, really pretty books um, in this one. So it's so gorgeous. So this one is Crowned Fantasy Queens by Deborah Muller. I don't mean to keep hitting the camera with my elbow, sorry. So this one I would like to do for um, May the 4th. Uh, it's Rogue One, a Star Wars story, 100 images to inspire creativity. Rogue One is my favorite Star Wars movie, which is kind of strange. I know <laughs> a lot of people don't don't pick that as their favorite movie but of, of the Star Wars franchise, but it is mine. And I would love to do a page out of here of Jin Erso or um, one of the other characters but um, she is actually probably my favorite character in the Star Wars franchise. Her and um, Han Solo and Chewie are my favorite characters in Star Wars. Um, but yeah, I'd like to do something out of this one for May the 4th. And then um, this one is from Coco Wayo. And we have Green Witches coloring book to spark your imagination. Coco Wild did these beautiful coloring books, um, I think last year, uh, with witches. They have several different ones. I think there's a modern one, one that's just called Witches, I know, because that's the next one I'm going to show you. And then this one was Green Witches. But um, they were just beautiful, the illustrations in them. Just really, really, really nice, um, pretty interesting and I do love my witch coloring books that everybody knows that um, so I would very much like to do one from this book and that is Green Witches by Coco Wayo. Then the next one is Witches uh, from Coco Wayo um, and this book is really really beautiful. I remember when it came out everybody just immediately purchased it because it was gorgeous. And I think at that time, that's when Coco Wild was like cranking out books like crazy right before they had their trouble with their um, Amazon account. And now they are back and running up again. So that's good. But ugh, just love these. Love, love, love these um, illustrations. And this was a very popular um, book from them. And, and you can totally see why. It's gorgeous. So this one is Witches from Coco Wayo. I realize I have quite a few <laughs> books here, but you know, you got to set goals, right? Because if you don't, if nothing changes, then nothing changes, right? So this is a Creative Haven book. This is American Beauties. Um, and uh, the name of the artist is escaping me. Not the artist that does the coloring book, but the artist that um, did the original paintings. But I've had this book forever. I mean, seriously, like I've had this book for years and years and years. Shortly after I started coloring, I think I purchased this and um, never. Harrison Fisher. Okay, so it's rendered by Carol Schmidt based on the artwork of Harrison Fisher. But I've had this book for a long, long time and I haven't touched it and it's beautiful. So that one is American Beauties from Creative Haven. And here we have a, another Creative Haven, and this is the Art Nouveau Designs coloring book, and this is based on the works of Mucha. Um, I believe this, it could it be Marty Noble did this one? I'm not sure. But I love Art Nouveau. I have several Art Nouveau coloring books, and I just would really like to do some in this book. They're absolutely beautiful. And I have um, some art books about Mucha, and I would like to kind of try to uh, emulate the original painting. So we'll see how that goes. Rendered by Ed Sibbett Jr. Definitely was not Marty Noble. So that one was Art Nouveau Designs coloring book. This one is, I did not purchase this on Amazon. This was a, um, I think I got it on, you know, I can't remember, it's been so long. So I don't know if I got it on Etsy or if I purchased it on um, 
Oh, AliExpress. I'm not sure. But I think it's called something. Oh, it's got the name right there. Oh, I don't have my glasses on. Hold on. Let me put it on. Coloring Book of Beautiful Dresses. Wedding Dresses. Something like that. Oh, Coloring Book of the Gorgeous Wedding Dress. So that's what that one is called. And um, I just would like to do one. These are absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning. And this was one of those books that I just had to have. <laughs> you know, I had to have it. And, and there it sat. And so I would definitely like to color something from this. I have a lot of these um, Asian books, whether they're Korean or Chinese, um, and I need to color in them. So this one is Coloring Book of the Gorgeous Wedding Dress. It may be available on Amazon, though. You never know. Sometimes things like that happen. And then this one is another one like that. I think this one was called something about party dresses party dresses or something like that um something like that so and it's super super pretty too like this one absolutely stunning absolutely stunning so and i think these came they're like little posters that came in with it And then next oh, is another Dubber Miller. I didn't know I had the third. I forgot I had the third one in there. This one is my Gothic Valentine. I would like to do a page for this for Valentine's Day, obviously. So, okay, sorry about that. So this one is my Gothic Valentine by Dubber Miller. And um, I just would like to color one of these for Valentine's Day. Um, this is an older book. She's had it out for a couple years. One that I purchased and never colored in. So much fun. So much fun. This is a good one for Valentine's Day if you don't have a Valentine book yet to color in. Very, very cute. My Gothic Valentine from Deborah Miller. And then the next one is another book that I just had to have. This is a Hatchet Heroes Hache. Um, this is the Sorcier, Sorcier I think. Um, it's a color by number from them. And I had such big plans for this book <laughs> when I bought it. I was going to color them and take them out and frame them. And I have two copies because they're double-sided. So I, I have two copies so that I have access to each image. Um, and I was going to use acrylic paint and markers and never did. Never did anything with it. Um, but yeah, so these are some of the solutions on this one. Uh, but I really would like to work in this book because they're just I don't know the images really appeal to me they're simple they're almost like color blocked in a way you know what I mean they're just very simple and um but at the same time kind of bold and witchy of course so again you know I love my witchy books and I did get this one on Amazon um I ordered it from Amazon US but it was delivered from Amazon Global so I will look and if it is available I will link it this book is so nice it is just super 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 nice all right, the next one I have, there's two. I have these Lady Mechanica books, volume one and two for ladies and gentlemen of all ages. Keith bought me the, these books. They are steampunk books. And it's so funny because these were one of the ones that he purchased for me without being on a list that I had given him for like Christmas or my birthday or something. And he said he went out on a limb. And I had always wanted these, but I never really, um, uh, you know, I didn't really like because they're i'm intimidated by them right so okay this one's book two um but i would just like to color something in one of them at least you know what i mean they're just they're really really fun kind of different from my normal um style of coloring books that i'm drawn to but i think they could look really striking when finished so i would like to color at least one out of either one of them um but at least one from one or two would be, I'd be happy with that. And then this one is the volume one. And, uh, yeah. They're just really nice. Really nice coloring books. And they are done by Joe Benitez. Joe Benitez. So those were Lady Mechanica volumes one and two. And then um, this one is 
Eastgate presents the Briar Coloring Book. And this is another one that I just absolutely thought was so stunning and I had to have it. And um, I saw it in a video from Lavelia um, and I had to have it and then I never did anything with it. And it's like gorgeous. I mean, they have an area where the images are colored for you. You can look at like uh, the original artwork and just spectacular you know and um these are fantasy art um just i don't know next level gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so i definitely need to color something out of this and it is intimidating but i'm not as intimidated by it as i used to be um so yeah, this one is up. Uh, says printed in the UK, published in night or in 2017, not 1917. <laughs> That'd be a pretty old coloring book, huh? So this is the Briar coloring book and the illustrator. Oh, just look how gorgeous that is. It's like totally giving me um, King Arthur vibes. You know, uh, just uh, what's what are those books that I love so much in the movie Mists of Avalon? Yeah, that. So. Um, I don't know who the illustrator is. Published in 2017, Eastgate Resources LTD first edition. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure who the illustrator is, but they're beautiful, beautiful. And then the last one that I have is the Coloring Heaven edition. I have a lot of Coloring Heaven books that I would like to color in, um, but I would like to color out of this one, particularly the Gothic Fantasy Special, and this is the Ennis Guerrero one. I don't know if she's done one or two issues now, but if she has, this is the first one. Um, I know she's been featured in some of the other ones, but this one is Ennis Guerrero. So. And she just has this beautiful, dark, gothic style. It's just so interesting and really neat. So I would like to color in that one. So those are the untouched books that I would like to work on in 2024. And I'm excited because then I would have something to put in the tag for the Color Your Horde, um, hosted by Lavelia and T's World of Adult Coloring. And I'll link their channels below. Also, um, I'd have something every month if I did that. <laughs> if I did that. Um, so that would be nice. But I also have... Um, a few books that I have already colored in that I would like to finish my whips or just books that I would like to continue coloring in. So this one is Enchanted Faces, the pocket size one by Hannah Lynn. Um, a while ago, probably last year, I actually joined a group of ladies on Instagram that were working toward um, uh, completing this book. And I really wanted to participate in that and I did and I think I got two pages done and then life got in the way and I um, wasn't really able to come back to it. And the ladies, thankfully, as far as I know, haven't booted me out of their group. <laughs> um, I think I'm still in the Instagram uh, group, but um, I would like to do some in this book and continue on um, working in this one. So that one is Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lim. I have a whip in this one, Tales from the Midnight Masquerade from Hannah Carlson. This was a gift to me um, from my friend Emily, and um, I started this one, and I'm almost done with it. I'm, I'm almost, it's almost completed. So I would like to finish this one. I was using my Pablo's um, in this um, illustration, and uh, I think it looks really pretty so far, and very, I'm very close to finishing it. So um, I definitely want to get that one done. I also have another page in, I think it's Summer Nights, that I would like to do. It's the one of the two geese holding the gemstone um, together between their their beaks. Is that what you call it? Do, be do go gooses have beaks? Beaks? Uh, their noses? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, they're holding the gemstone together. And um, I've seen um, a video that I watch over and over and over again from... Um, Oh, I can't remember what her name is, but I've I've watched her tutorial on that. I, you guys, I can't a hundred times at least. I'm not kidding you, and I would like to finish that one or work on that one uh, in her style if I could. 
Uh, I got a couple more and then we're going to be done. I would like to continue in with this one, A Gothic Christmas from Deborah Muller. I really, really like this one. I have a few done in this, um, but this is like one of my favorite Christmas coloring books. And um, I just really like this one. It's fun. It's something that I definitely um, enjoy. Uh, this has been out for a couple years now, and this is a Gothic Christmas from Deborah Muller, but I like that one. So maybe I'll get to that next Christmas season. And then the other one that I like uh, would to like to continue working in from Deborah Muller is Gothic Beauty. And um, I've done a few pages in this one also. Not a lot, but some, but this is one of my favorite books from, from her. And uh, yeah, so I would like to work more in this one. Gothic Beauty from Deborah Muller. And then I have, um, oops, not, that was in the wrong place. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got a bin tipping over. We got to watch out. I have a bin tipping over. We don't want that to happen. Okay. And then this book is kind of odd shape, but this is the Moon Blossoms, an art book you can color. I have completed uh, maybe five in this one, and I started on one the other night. So one good thing about this whole project has I, I got um, the, my books. I pulled them all out, and I put them in these, um, like, oh, dog hair on that. Sorry. Um, I put them in these like totes or whatever. And, um, I had them pulled out and I thought, I thought, well, if I keep these books at the ready, then I'll be more apt to reach for them. So I had pulled them out a few days ago to make this video and Moon Blossoms was in there and I actually picked it up and started doing a page the other night in it. Uh, this one, I started on this one, a friend of mine, um, she had given me some markers for my, or for Christmas. That's what it was for Christmas. She had given me a set of markers, water-based markers. This is the ones that she gave me. Vitoler or something. They're water-based markers and she gave those to me for Christmas. And I thought I would um, start uh, coloring a new one in this. So I reached for it and I've started this one. Um, but I love this book. This is a book that I would love to have completed someday. Um, so that one is Moon Blossoms. And I do not believe this book is in print any longer. I don't think you can get it, um, unfortunately. You might be able to find it, like, in resale, like eBay or something like that. Um, but that was it. And then the last book that I have, <laughs> and I've actually showed this before in another video similar to this one, is Serene. And I have a whip in Serene. And I would like to complete it. And I don't even know if this is going to be in frame because the book is so odd shaped. Um, but I did start this one from the tutorial um, done by Chris Ching. And uh, I would like to complete it using the tutorial from Chris Ching. I would like to complete this. This is another gorgeous book. And I don't know if it's available anymore or not. Um, but I would like to finish this one. I think I did this, like, seriously, during COVID, maybe, 2020, 2021, so I definitely want to get cracking on it, and it's funny because I'm looking at it now, and I don't feel as nearly intimidated by it as I did when I first started it, um, but, yeah, so I would like to finish that one, maybe even someday complete some more images in it, but that is my tentative coloring plans for 2024. I was thinking about checking in around July and um, see like where I'm at, what I've colored in out of these. I have two of those little bins I showed you and I'm going to keep these books in those and they're going to be where I can have access to them all the time. So I'm really trying to cut down on my um, consumption of nonsense like I watch YouTube makeup videos like hours and hours and hours of them and I don't think it's productive and I don't think it's good for me um and so I, I'm trying to cut way way back on that and use the time that I would waste on that to be creative and work in my books so hopefully I will follow through with that <laughs> 
But thank you guys if you held in there for the whole video. I really appreciate it. I will have more coloring book videos for you. I have some flip throughs I'm going to film. And then I'll be back to doing completed pages videos again and um, things like that. So again, if the books are available on Amazon, I will list them in the description section below. And I really appreciate you watching, question or comment, and I will see you in the next video.